Hey guys, well it's been a while since we've been back in the workshop, I had a few uh, camera issues, um, but have been in here plodding along, um, been working on the uprights, they're almost complete, uh, this is the second upright that I've been working on. Just about to set it up on the jig. And down here we've got the upright that I've uh, already completed. So all just all the arms are just sitting there. So I think the camera's been out of action for a little bit, but all the bottom arms are done now. They came up amazing. Um, Done a work, bit of work on the um, water piping. Got our aluminium water pipes all roughed in there. We've got our shifter and handbrake mounted. We added in another harness bar. We weren't too sure if we were going to get the right angle for uh, neck restraint, so we added another bar in to get the right angle. Still got to finish off the pipe work for the radiator, but uh, all in all, it's all happening. We've, um, after I finish these uprights, the next project is uh, finish mounting the fuel tank. We're uh, running a 70 gallon fuel tank this time, which is 265 litres. And yeah, the rear end's off at the moment at final drive, getting some uh, work done to it. But all in all, progress is happening. Lots of welding. I think we're, uh, I've just opened my third packet of uh, filler rod. So that's um, it's five kilos per packet. So we're 10 kilos of filler rod down. It's a lot of burnt rod. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and um, We'll catch you a bit later. So guys, even though we had a few camera issues, I still managed to take a few uh, still pictures. Um, showing how the lower arms put together. Um, there is a huge amount of work in these arms. Many, many hours of welding. Uh, I had some input into the arm design, but the majority of the design came from a buddy of mine, Mr. Junior Hall. He did a fantastic job getting the design just right so we could fit our massive three and a half inch coilovers. 
Um, we also got all the laser cutting files sent out and uh, CNC bent so we can get a really good fitting product to assemble. Uprights going together here. So we're making some adjustments to the uprights today. <clears throat> Just uh, cutting a little bit out of the side to allow for a bit more steering off. I think we can get pretty close to 40 degrees, so we're going to go for that. So taking the upright off. We've already done the other side, so. To finish the side and we'll be on our way. So we have designed this truck to take a 40 inch tyre. Um, we've got some 37 inch Mickey Thompson MTZs to go on once it's ready. Uh, one of the things to consider when you're running a big tyre and a, and a big truck is at some point it's going to need to stop. To get the truck to stop, we are running some nice big six pot Willwood brakes. Now these things are pretty big and you're going to need at least a 17 inch wheel or rim um, to fit over the top. Also you would have seen our front end design is using a unit bearing setup. Uh, we've done this for serviceability other reasons and uh, yeah so guys if you've got any questions about the truck build so far uh, post them up in the comments below um, do my best to answer them and yeah from me thanks for following along and uh, keep an eye out for the next episode coming out next next Wednesday all right cheers